Hi friends, I'm Cori and today we are making DIY deodorant because I'm that crunchy girl that makes my own deodorant and I've been doing it for almost three years now and I find that this is the best DIY all natural deodorant that actually works. And you'll only need three ingredients plus some essential oils to make this. The first thing that you're going to need is coconut oil. Coconut oil is a has great antibacterial properties. It's super soothing and nourishing to your skin as well. So this is your base. And then added to the coconut oil, you need cornstarch. Try to find an organic non-GMO cornstarch so that you make sure you have a healthier option. Cornstarch helps to keep things dry. And then the next ingredient that you need, you've got two options on this one, baking soda. I find that baking soda makes um, irritates my skin and it kind of burns and stings. So instead of using baking soda, I like arrowroot powder. Arrowroot powder is really great for absorbing moisture as well. So you have a choice. You could use baking soda or arrowroot powder or maybe half and half. So the basic recipe is just one to one to one. So one tablespoon of coconut oil, one tablespoon of cornstarch, one tablespoon of arrowroot powder. I'm going to double my recipe because I like to make it last a little bit longer. So what I have done is melted two tablespoons of coconut oil. You want to melt it first. And then to the coconut oil, I've added my oils. Now, tea tree is a fantastic oil. It's often an oil that is actually found in deodorants. So this is a really great one to add to your deodorant. So five drops of tea tree. Cypress has, is a super awesome deodorant oil. So five drops of cypress, and then I like to do five drops of peppermint because it's soothing and invigorating and it just smells fresh. You could also add to your deodorant whatever you choose. However you're feeling, if you want some lavender, if you want grapefruit, whatever you'd like, you can go to town, make up your own blend. So after you've added your oils to your coconut oil, you're going to add it to a bowl that I've already measured out my cornstarch and my arrowroot powder. So I've got two tablespoons of each of those in there. And then you're just going to pour it all in. And then just stir it up. It takes a little bit to get it all incorporated in there. And once you have it all stirred up, you're gonna get yourself an airtight container and pour it into your airtight container. Now I have made this before where I've poured it into an empty deodorant container, which works great if you live in an area where your um, coconut oil stays solid at room temperature. I live in an area where it's pretty warm and oftentimes the coconut oil is not solid at, at room temperature, it's liquid. So what happens when you put your deodorant into a deodorant container is that it melts and makes a, an enormous mess. So I prefer to just put it into an airtight container. I have like a cute little plastic container that I use. So this is the consistency. Um, after you get it all mixed up, you can put it into your container. I like to stick it in the refrigerator for just a few minutes and let it harden. And then that's the consistency that it will be when I go to use it. So let me show you. This is an almost empty container, but I'll scoop some out. The consistency is like, um, it's just like deodorant. It, ro it rolls on just like deodorant would. It kind of just absorbs into your skin. So I apply mine like a lotion. I, I know some people have issues with applying it like a lotion, but I have no troubles with that. So that's how I use my deodorant. And this is super easy to make. It lasts a good month or two because you need just a tiny little bit. So DIY deodorant. Go make yourself some and give it a try. Thanks for watching.